was your morning routine today, Joe? What'd you do today? Uh, what do you do when you wake up? What's the first thing you do? Joe's eyes pop open. What do you do? Cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> I set boundaries for myself. So no one comes <laughs> near me for hours. No, um, what do I do? I, um, I got a little fuzz. <laughs> oh my God. I have a little love. <laughs> I got it. You did? Yeah, this, I, this, this from Cotton, ball, cotton mm. Rounds. Yeah. Um, I have my blackberries and my blueberries. I get a big bowl of berries every but do morning. You do, so you get up. I get up. Do you go to your phone first? I don't. Actually. You don't? I don't go to my phone first because, wow. because uh, I, I, otherwise I'll just get caught up in like, you know, having to like check it. And, yeah. and I, I hate emails, like I mean, hundreds of emails. That's actually really healthy. I'm very unhealthy. The minute I wake up, I'm like this. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I turn the alarm off, so I'm on the phone for that. But I don't check it initially. Interesting. Um, I definitely don't look at email or whatever. Uh, okay. But, you know what I'll do is I'll basically um, get my berries, go down and wash some berries. Okay. First, I take a um, believe it or not, I take a poop. Uh, no <laughs> poop. <laughs> believe it or not, first I take a Prilosec. You had the right p word because I have a little acid indigestion. Oh so really? So I, you I get up. A, take a, You have to take that like you know 20 minutes before you eat, right? Okay. So I take that with my glass of water. And uh, I just take one a day and it really works, you know, because you don't want like esophageal cancer and all that kind of stuff. So when you have acid reflux, you take a Prilosec like a day and it works. It really does work for me. Anyway, I'm not a big proponent of taking pills because I just don't do that. But this one actually really works. Okay. So, um, so you take pills. I take one. And then um, first thing. And then I go make my berries and I have a big banana and then I have two eggs. Opposed to uh, toast with peanut butter. How do you navigate to the to the to the large banana? Like, do you only go for big bananas, or is there medium oh, sized, small just bananas? Really, it's, we're going to start this already. And how do you and how do you eat the banana? Yeah, what do you mean? Like, do you like? You're disgusting. <laughs> What's it matter? You in, guys are such jerks. In one foul swoop, you're so disgusting. You eat the whole banana one bite. You're disgusting. No, no. Actually, what I do is sometimes I like slice up and put it on toast with peanut butter. Mm, it's very good. Okay, and then, so you got your food. You probably set your right. food. Then what do you? Right. Eat? Then uh, you know. You uh, take a poop, use the facilities, and then as Pop take, would say. Take the girls to school. Well, then I, yeah, I mean, yes, yes, okay. yes. Then I, then I, you know, well, Charlie drives herself down, you know, oh. but uh, Libby, I take Libby, and then, uh, and then, yeah, I come back and I get my day started by like eight fifteen, you know, wow. eight thirty. So, and, wow, uh, it's a, you know, it's a day. It's, it's a day. It's already a day. Up at five thirty, you know, six. Yep. So, and then, uh, yeah, and then I'm ready to go. Do you work out every day? Uh, I mean, I. You know, I try to work out. You know, I used to do it every day, right? Could and you try all, not to chew all, so loudly? In all honesty, I... Uh, will you shut up? Well, I, just, I hear it, so I can imagine... You're the only the, one that hears it. My, I don't even have You're good hearing. You're the only one that hears it. I'm wearing it. a hat over my ears. You, you could still hear it. Everything annoys... I know, just put it in there. Because he's not going to stop until you... All audible noises other than actual words drive Andy nuts. Um, set a boundary. Set mm. a boundary. Say... No. You know what, And? I will, yeah. Setting it, a boundary. Put it, put it back in. It's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. It's disgusting. Here it is. It's unnecessary. It's yeah, it's not gonna he work. wanted to prove a point, but it didn't, you know. Okay, point look. not proven. You're, okay. So at any rate, um, I try to work out every day, you know, uh, but it doesn't always happen, you know. Well. And I don't have the fancy gyms and, you know, it just, I, you know, you go on, you go on these social sites and it's like, I don't, I don't know how, you know, these guys do it. Mark Wahlberg with his you know, huge gym in the rock with the iron paradise that travels with him everywhere he goes. All you need is an axe, a big piece of lim gotta be, lumber. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. I'm, I got to get this off my Timber. chest. Timber. Right. I have officially unfollowed the rock. Have you really? Yes. Can't handle it anymore. So now he only has four billion. Yes. He's what? not going to, he's not going to miss me and I'm not going to miss him. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> ooh, we, why did you unfollow him? Honestly, because I felt like He's giving the wrong impression to people. Really? And I felt like... It's funny because he's such a positive guy. Do you guy. mean when they ask him about his body and he goes, all hard work and a little bit of tequila? That's the wrong impression? <laughs> well, Boy. no. The problem is is that he, he, it's not being truthful. The problem is he's saying a lot of hard work, some tequila, and... A bag of horse steroids. <laughs> I mean... No. We don't well, know that, dude. No, dude. He got caught. This is why I'm... I wonder why I'm following him. Because he got caught going into Australia with $250,000 worth of illegal horse steroids, and it just went away. But you know... Just went away. You know... Just got expunged because he's the rock. It's okay. And because he's allowed... I mean, have you seen him? He ended his wrestling career. He looked a certain... He's almost... You can't... He's unrecognizable. 
from when he ended wrestling to now being an action star. So, and it's because of all the chemicals he's pumping into his poor body, and the poor man is going to wind up on his deathbed at fifty or sixty. Let's see. And if nobody's you, saying anything, let's see if you do a movie. You with just did, the Rock. and uh, we're sticking. <laughs> you soon. know what? I'm looking out for the for the guy himself, no, no. and I'm not going to give in to this this thing that he's created that is unhealthy to him. So he's a warrior. I don't agree. Um, I don't agree. I don't agree well, with the look, lifestyle. I mean, don't all agree. I'll say is that Sean Hobbs is not in your future. Yeah, nope. Sean Hobbs. Probably right. Hobbs and Sean. Hobbs and Sean. Hobbs and Sean. Sorry, Hobbs um, and Sean. It's okay. Uh, okay I, I actually that. like that movie. Me too. I actually like Me too. Movie. Oh, look, there's some things he does that are great. I'm not saying knock him. No, 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 saying, no, it's not that. I can't take all the, the info that he gives and the spews and the this and the nice without there being some kind of referendum on what actually is really going on. Well, it is, look, it, look, I mean. Boundaries, yeah, really. Is, yeah. I do. The, I, I am finally, for once in my life, mm. I'm putting up certain boundaries. Touché. I took out all these people <laughs> from my social media that I don't think are actually being authentic. Right. Like and who? Now, like all, basically all Wait, celebrities. I can't I, stand I, 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 If you were going to eliminate anybody that wasn't authentic on social media, I would suggest eliminating social media. Well, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> but what I have turned it into is all educational type stuff. So when I scroll through Reading Instagram Rainbow. now. Reading Rainbow. Exactly. Reading Rainbow. Basically, my entire <laughs> feed is Mr. Rogers. Hooked on phonics. Oh, yep. hooked on phonics. Mathnasium. 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 Who are you, you educating? Idiot. Oh, my You're God. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Mathnasium. Actually, we do need to educate people on meth. Methamphetamines. And on math. They don't. They can't even add And opioids. Kids. Everything Should is on smartphones. Oh, you said phones. math. The top of everybody's conversation. Math. I thought you, you said meth. Mm -mm. It's hard it's to tell these days. Pharmaceuticals, people. Well, anyway, what is, what is your morning routine? My morning routine. I actually read that in the morning, no joke, when I was talking about boundaries, I, like, you set the day's boundaries in the morning. Like, you... Actually... I, I, I'm not kidding. No, like, you're 100% right. Yeah. You in set fact, the day's boundaries? The day's boundaries. Like, like, like you go, okay... You, you gotta this, wake up every morning, morning and tell what the day accomplish. what's the day's boundaries are? This is what are. I want to accomplish. You're not taking advantage of me today, gonna, Wednesday. <laughs> Let me tell you why. I mean, what do you... What? Wednesday, this is my... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what some big boundaries I have put up lately. What? Exactly what you said is... Um, my boundaries now are the morning routine I set the night before. Because yeah. what I learned right. is that what you go to sleep on, right. you actually dream about. Nice. So if you tell yourself, this is what I got to get accomplished, this is what I want to focus on, or this is what I want to learn, right. your brain while you're sleeping is already going to be processing up. So you're getting ahead. So you dream you're, about you're it. literally waking then up. Then you wake up and do it and you go... Deja vu. Yeah. No, I, I did this last night when I was dreaming. No, you're literally if one so I know step how to ahead. Hold you tonight. You're one step ahead of everybody else on the planet that didn't do that. You know, what, you know what? You know what? You know what I do? Little, little this is how I get a step before ahead. Before you go to sleep. I yes, don't no, go to sleep. Right. You don't go to sleep. I just do. Well, yeah, we can tell. Because sleep is the most important thing tell. to your mental health. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't go to sleep. Yeah, you And I'm sleep. I'm two steps ahead. He hasn't been to sleep since last Wednesday. I'm quick stepping. Oh, God. Oh, God. Andy. Quick, oh, about that meth. <laughs> Back to meth. Meth education. This isn't tell, a me, joke. tell me about that meth. It's a It's a gymnasium. It's a real problem. No, it is. It's a gymnasium no, it for meth. It a lot more people than people understand. It is. No, you're right. No, it is. It is. It's true. I'm not laughing about this is very serious actually, and don't make me laugh. <laughs> it's uh, he, he changes gears. He's very all serious. Fun, and all of a sudden, he just drops a, a dime on you. He's just like, oh man, <laughs> don't laugh about it. It's serious. Okay, don't we're laugh about math. We're just joking amongst each and other. Don't make me laugh. I'm setting either. a boundary with you, and yeah. no meth laughing. No laughing. You laugh at meth. You're dead. All right, I'm not laughing. I'm just making a joke. No one's laughing at that. It's horrible, tragic stuff. Anyway, can we get back to what my Matt was? Yeah, Matt, Matt, I Matt out finally the finished night Breaking Bad last night, uh, yeah, so he's yeah. real sensitive. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I start out the night bad. before. I write out this and that. Oh, <laughs> you write out <laughs> what I need to do. What I, I gotta be can thinking I, about. When what I was I like, hold learn, on, time out. What I want to accomplish not, for the day. Not anymore, but when I was like, then I say when Matt prayers. was eighteen, I found one of his good. his to do lists. When Matt was eighteen, I found one of his to do lists, and I'll never forget it, dude. Because I literally was like, oh wow, Matt's got a to do list. He's got a lot of Matt's got a to do and, list. Yeah, like, that's so surprising. Well, it was more surprising what was on the he to do list. Do anything. I was like, to do list, <laughs> go to Jamba Juice. <laughs> and then I was like, I swear to God, then it was like work out. That was when Jamba Juice was popping. And then it was, and then it was like grocery store, then FedEx, pick up dry cleaning. Yes. Eat lunch. I'm like, these are, 
<laughs> normal things that people do every day. Wash if I hands. I don't write them yeah. down, it might not happen. Okay. Wash hands. Wash hands. Blow my nose at least twice if I'm feeling <laughs> stuffy. <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah. I don't even understand. Uh, these were so important funny. things to me. Can I be I was, honest with you? Retired I, I, at 18, okay? I think, I think I made some lists like that. I got to be honest. I think I I'm made sure. some lists like that. Yeah. Anyway, can I get back to it? Worked back. It worked back. We were retired in our early teens to our early 20s, and now we're starting to work. Yes, I no, know. No, I retired yeah. for about four or five years there. I needed to get my head on straight. Exactly. Yes. And uh, now we're I back in the grind. I did other things. Had a hell of a lot school. of Jamba Juice. A lot. Now we're back in the grind. It actually isn't juice. Staring straight into the sun. Yes. Uh, to get my, my vitamins. In my warrior <laughs> garden. No shoes. Um, no, I, uh, yeah, that's. Um, you know the power, I make you know like power pose? You know, it's impossible to feel inf inferior to anybody else in the room if you do, if you do the power pose. <laughs> it's true. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Pose. Just try it. You'll feel more powerful, I swear. You can and then beat up if you do that Superman in a room. Pose. If you do that in a room, you're like, you oh, know what's funny? I we're just losing read... it. We're losing this room, Matt. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will stop us. <laughs> no, you know what's funny though? I read a little journal. Oh, I read God. a little science oh, journal. <laughs> but have you ever noticed when fathers go to the beach, it's really hilarious. Next oh, time we go to the beach, God. look at it. Fathers just stand there like this. I don't even get a shot of this. They stand there like this, looking out. Because they're trying. Yeah, they're trying to get their hemorrhoids back up. No, because subconsciously they're protecting the kids on the beach, and that's a subconscious Superman. I'm going to protect the children. That's true. It's really true. Watch. Next time you're on the beach, you'll see all these guys stand there like or, this. Making or sure the kitties are okay. Subtly, Power pose. Subtly known as Try it, guys. peacocking. Power pose. Or also that could be like peacocking. Freeze. Power pose. We freeze. Hands up. But that really doesn't work for my hey. analogy. Power pose. Let's do it. I want to see you do it. Hey. Ho. Hip hop. Hooray. I'm, I am doing a power pose. That's it? Yeah, this is it. Oh, yeah. He's doing he's looking at <laughs> <laughs> It's up. Don't worry. Hands up, guys. Oh, God. You're so gross, yeah, dude. I, know. I can do it on cue. Always, it's always <laughs> just just junk with you, man. Did you ever bugs. hear about this? There's a woman who can orgasm on cue. What the I hell? swear this is a real thing. I've been thing. hearing a lot, of, a lot about orgasming without orgasming. What does that mean? Like a tantric orgasm. A tantric orgasm? I'm having one right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, ah, no, that wow. was the thing. No, yeah. nothing. Yeah, no, exactly. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I saw an interview. Truth. With, Come on. It, it exists. It's out there. It's I a power. I saw an interview with this lady. We need, you know what the hell this and is. And the darn, the darn <laughs> we'll newscaster, the, the newscaster flat out asked me, he's like, so are you having one right now? And she was like, I just did. What? I just Come had another on. one. I swear to God, I just had another one. Well, that's a fast. That's like more like Woo! it's more like a when you're predicting earthquakes. And yeah. You see the, did it? Did yeah. it? Did it? Did it? I was shocked. There's two things in life I'm worried about. Whatever the hell this is, and tantric orgasms. Exactly. Let's go have them. Yeah. What are you talking? It's the weirdest tantric orgasm. I've heard that it's I'm a thing. No, it. tantric orgasm is a real thing. I'm looking up. But tantric this woman orgasms. who can have an orgasm. I'm about to change wants, my older real. brother's life. Oh Joe's going God. down the rabbit hole of tantric orgasms. Tantric. <laughs> we see him next week. He's got this like garb on. He's, he looks like no, Jared. He shambly. looks like Jared Leto. No, he's like he's <laughs> yeah, walking Jared around. Leto. He's floating when he walks. Hey Siri. You know he only eats a couple gummy worms. What is a tantric orgasm? Let's see if Siri knows. What is a tantric orgasm? Is your volume up? This fucking thing sucks. I don't know how to respond to that. Well, it's because it's a machine, it. Joe. Hold on, maybe I can take care of it. AI is oh, not going to look hey, it up. Hey, Siri. What is... Hi. <laughs> what you don't is... have to say hi to it, you idiot. What, what is a tantric <laughs> orgasm? I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Define... Oh, Siri. Siri? <laughs> she's gone. She'll Siri. be back. She went out to lunch. She said she's yes. Here. She said yes. Hi. Hey, what's no, going on? No, what? You throw it off every time. Define, <laughs> define tantric orgasms. I don't know how to respond Dang to it. that. Dang it. Okay, just try type this. it in. Just Siri. type it in the damn phone. What is just type. tantric sex? It's not going to... I don't have an answer for What is wrong with you? She's the worst. Six, this is a real thing, I swear it to actually God. Is. Siri just doesn't yeah, six, know. Six types of tantric orgasms. There you go. Wait, thank you. And how to try each one. There you go. I've gotten four out of the six. Really? That's what these tattoos are. Do you have oh, any God, boundaries guy. sexually? Do you no. have any things you won't do? Boundless. Yeah, I do. I Endless. Do. I do. Boundless. I do. I do have boundaries. Of you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do too. I don't do anything unless it's in a bed. 
<laughs> Missionary. I in will a bed, do. I will lights do off, anything. Shower as long first. As it's on a shower after. Oh what? my Jesus. god! Oh god! <laughs> Clinical, like <laughs> sterile sexual experience of their life. Here we go. We're done. Next missionary. Yeah. Yeah. Before, in a bed. Oh my Look, god! I just, I just tell every part of it. On top of the cover. This is gonna oh last thirty god. seconds, and then we're gonna. <laughs> Those are the boundaries I set. You got 30 seconds. Um, no, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, I I do. Oh. It's serious. It's scam likely. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, no, I, um, yeah, I mean, I, I do, you know. I, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, and boundaries, I, yeah, there are certain things that I'm just not like, that crazy about to be yeah. honest with you. you. You guys? Yeah, I've got I've got some. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've it's got not some. like you know. I've got some. Yeah, I put myself about a five on the Richter scale of like. Yeah. Zero being prudent and. Yeah. Ten being really crazy. I yeah. put myself around a five. Yeah. I don't like you know, like plastic bags and all these weird things. You know, like people. Like, Asphy ah! Asphyxiation. Ah! Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's all this weird stuff, man. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know. People just get plastic crazy bags are or that's. More for murder. Plastic Belts. Bags. Plastic bags. Strangulation. Plastic That's bags more, are more for fresh fruit. I'll tell you where yeah. I drew the line yeah. once. Drew the where? line once. Where? Physically getting beaten up. What? Yeah. And, and really? I was the one getting beaten up. And I'm not joking really? around. Yeah, I was getting hit. I was getting punched in the face. And I was like, this dude, is not working dude, for me, you dude, know? Dude, I wasn't trying to have sex with you. I was just kicking your ass. No, it wasn't a dude. Oh, was that, that was me. <laughs> okay. That was me. It no, was a girl. Uh, uh, no, I'm just but saying. All I know is we were watching Rocky IV. Oh, God. And, uh, well, she liked to get violent. Really? And then she wanted me to hit her back. I, I, what? I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. Matt's been watching a lot of. I movies. was like, I was like, open or closed hand? Wait a like, Closed hand. I'm what? Like, no, Come no, on. no. I'm not doing Come it. Come on. Not, I swear Come to God. I swear. She wanted me to physically hit her, and I was, I'm not doing that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I was like, I, you can hit me, even though I don't like it. But what I'm was not that Ben back. Stiller movie where he was doing that? Was that uh, the Heartbreak Kid? Remember that when he was in that? Oh, she no. was beating him. Be kid. Yeah, she was beating the shit out of him. It was so funny in that scene. Remember, he's like, oh, he's like, oh. Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. It was like my wow. Life. I've never had Matt that. didn't find that scene very funny. No. Hot I candle didn't. wax was a no go for me. Really? Yeah. Somebody tried to drip that all over me. Oh I was, yeah, I've it was, seen it was, that in movies. No, it fucking hurt. Oh. It was not. It was like, oh, the music, and you're like, <laughs> the whoa, what's is, that? No, have you ever that? done it when the flame actually stays lit on the wax for you, just lighting you on fire? No, I, your, it was your just chest like, hair just no, goes out like, with a little it was like smoke. candles everywhere. It was oh, so romantic. It's a Molotov they, cocktail, and it was going to be That's this if, and this, and candles everywhere, <laughs> and all these things, and all of a sudden you're like, hey, what's going on? It's like dripping. You're like, ow! Yeah. It did. Uh, it did. Uh, no, I drew the. Well, there's I there's there's the certain thing. wax that you have to use. You can't just use like a normal candle. You know? This was envelope wax. That's, they did that little that's, thing. And they did, I'm kidding. No, they did not. You guys, what's your screensaver right now? Mine's of a candle. Let me see. Show your screensavers. Mine's this. Show it to everybody. Show it to everybody. Okay, well, yeah. first of all, I set yours. So Matt's going to be like, look at mine. What's yours? It's all look three of them. Look how close we are. I put it there. That's it's why I'm in the middle. The brothers. Centrally uh, focused on me. Mine's, mine's this. Oh, and Joe's is, is his wife. Yeah, Mine's we the love, love of my life. And Andy's is the love of his life. Mr. Schmee. Schmeezy. The French bulldog. Schmeezy. He's great. Uh, He's great. So, okay, so so boundaries for you are, are no beating. No beating. No beating. Okay, all right, I don't cool. like the beating up thing. I don't understand it. I'm not I mean, a I understand it. What are yours? Don't don't say you don't have any because you're sitting there in your little beanie and you're trying boundless. to be all edgy with your facial hair. Just, boundless, buddy. You're boundless. Yep. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Matt's a five. I'm a hundred and five. You're so. No, he's man. just doing that. He does. <laughs> okay. He's so full of shit. Sorry, he, guys. I'm a freak. I know. I'm a no. Total I'm not. But you do, you don't even know what tantric orgasms are. Dude, I know what they we, were. Why do I want to know what a fake orgasm is? No, it's not fake. It's apparently like an orgasm. Self-perpetuated. Like it's self apparently an orgasm that you can like extend over hours and hours and hours. Self-perpetuated though. You don't need anybody else, right? Or do you need someone else? I hope you have somebody else. Otherwise, it's is it like, just like an in an involuntary like like? Or it's like a three-hour masturbation session. <laughs> Might get a little raw. Three might hours. Get, might, get, might be a little long on the little long in the tooth. <laughs> Three hours. I mean, oh my god. Well, that's what tantric it's, is. It's not giving in to the final. Is that really what it means? Yes. I swear Can we to get god. clarification on exactly how long does a tantric orgasm? As happen? long as you want. You go all a time day. Period. I don't think there's a time period on tantric. It's, it's supposed to go all day. All day. All day. Or all night. I couldn't even get anywhere today. <laughs> I've been having this orgasm all day. I mean, no. come on. No, it's right 
about You're never going to get to that to do this. You're so never stupid. actually. He didn't get to so anything. Stupid. He was like, I didn't make it to Jamba because uh, I started to have a tantric orgasm and I missed the dry cleaners. It was 9.30. I, yeah. Now it's 4.30. <laughs> I mean, it's been. Look at this. I totally missed the market and hey, washing seen, my hands. Have you seen Keanu Reeves talk about his perfect day? It's kind of funny. It's brilliant. What is it? Well, it's I the mean, best day ever. Have some, uh, you wake up, you have some sex, it's some sex. Then you maybe like hang out and no. maybe tell some jokes and eat some delicious food. No. Then you have it's some more sex. sex. Then you go for a bike ride in the no. afternoon. Mm -hmm. Then you get like, some lunch. Then you come home and then you have some more sex. sex. And you meet up with friends and you laugh and you have some good times, tell some jokes, eat some more food, have some wine, have some sex, get some sleep. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's, I'm not kidding. It's brilliant. It's a perfect day. The guy's a genius. Keanu Reeves is one of the most understated minds. I just want to be like, wait, time. do you have any children, though? Because more sex. Yeah, the perfect day. The guy's brilliant. Does he have kids? Free. No. I'm but that's free. what I'm saying, though. He obviously doesn't have kids because that perfect he's day. he's brilliant. <laughs> that perfect day. Come on. Wouldn't be that perfect day if you had children. Unless you're a brilliant man. <laughs> he's got the, the whole world. I would like to hear designed. Elon Musk take on that yeah, day. Yeah, well, <laughs> actually, for me, it's I wake up, I build me, space I, rockets, I, yeah. I run Tesla, I run Twitter, I don't have time for sex. I go eat lunch, I work on Tesla, I don't have time for sex again. That's kind of what he I got to be honest with you, I would pick Keanu's life all day. I think he's got 10 kids. Yeah, yeah and he's got 10 kids. And, he, and he's done it without having sex, which is the craziest thing. It's Elon Musk, the guy's a genius. He's but a genius. I would still prefer Keanu Reeves. Laughing, drinking, sex, motorcycles, that's Man. John Wick. I choose Elon Musk. Yeah, right. No, I'm dead serious. Have fun with the responsibility of Elon Musk's life. I want it. I'll take Keanu I all day, rockets. dude. Keanu Reeves. I want to solve major problems. What? Uh, yeah. No, you don't. John Wick sounds pretty dope. Yeah, I'll take John Wick. I'll I take like Speed. I'll take that. Speed? Yeah. Oh, you like fast cars. No, like the first movies, oh, Speed. Oh, Speed. We're talking about Whoa. Matrix. Are you telling me there's a guy's bomb a genius on that bus? Guy's what? a genius. Yeah, I like him. I like him. No, he's cool. He's I'm just cool shit. I like him. Great guy. You know what I love? Remember the um, he does all this humanitarian stuff. People don't even know about. He did some movie about. where he was. It was like a period piece. He was like the, in a okay, war, and he was so, like, "I'm not free, Victoria." No, no, that was I'm not. Free. That was the vampire movie. No, with, it's not. No, it yes, a, it was. How well, thou hath now? No, no, where do no. we go? No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't. with Winona no, Ryder. And, no, it wasn't. It was Winona Ryder wasn't anywhere near this. You're wrong. It was Winona Ryder. It was Ken Reeves, and it was Gary Oldman. I'll tell you what it is. Gary Oldman. Dracula. Okay. He was in it, but that's not what it was. That's the Gary Oldman wasn't in this movie. Ugh, this friggin' app. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Do you guys even know how to use iPhones? You're having some serious Hold trouble. Hold on a minute. No, I'm not the there. most technico technologically. You guys techno talk for a second. I'm gonna find this. Driven. It was. You might also uh, be illiterate. Uh, no. I'm, oh my God. No. 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 It was. One of the things I, I missed being an actor. Okay. School <clears throat> didn't really School. go. I never learned how to write or read. My mom took us for recess. It was a walk in the clouds. Yes, I remember walk in the clouds. Yes. It was a married soldier returning from World War II poses as a pregnant woman's husband to save her from her father's anger and okay, honor. Okay, let's and be was, real. And he has this great line. You it guys, was a period piece, right? You and can't he's, he's, win them all. It was okay? a period piece. No, it was great. World War II, 1942, and he comes Sounds in. Sounds like a real winner. He comes in. It was not one of his best films, but he comes in, and out of nowhere, he's a period piece. You know, nobody talks like this. And he was like, I'm not free, Victoria, okay? Not free. And you're like, no, no, no. It's not, you're not Bill and Ted in this one. You're not. This is a period piece. It's World War II. <laughs> Swear to God, he's dressed up like a kid. Yeah. He looks like, out of like he should be like with, Dude, with like Humphrey Bogart. Dracula he, was the best because he's speaking old English. No, he's not. Have you not Come seen on. this movie? Oh, I got to see Wait it now. Minute. You guys, Winona, it's Therefore, art now. Now, thou out thou so. I love thee. I will suck yeah. the blood. Okay. No, Whoa. he's not Dracula. He's, oh, he's not. He's like the guy that's trying wow. to protect him from. Oh, he has a period been, piece. Yeah, he's in like the colonial. See, that's the thing, man. That accent doesn't work. No, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It works best when he says. It's very modern. He's it got says, very yeah. modern. It says yeah, yeah, modern stuff. Yeah, for him. yeah. would work. And he has best. like one, I like the one word Keanu Reeves lines like, what, and, dude, that one's cool. I know? just like in speed. Oh, excellent. That's my favorite one. That's you Wayne's Bill, World. Bill, that's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. They no, did that first. No, dude. Excellent is definitely sure. Wayne's World. Um, I'm pretty sure Joe's right about this one. Okay. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. It was also in Wayne's World, but guess what came first? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, you're right about that. That did come first. Yeah, now Bogus He's Journey, right. we don't need to talk about that. That was not as good. But Excellent Adventure was excellent. What's Bogus? Oh, Rufus. Bogus Journey. You're like a genius, Rufus. What's this? Bill, Bill, Bill. Dude, have you not seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Oh my god, it was—it's a great movie. You learned 
the entire history of the Did country. Did you see the sequel? Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. No, that's the one I... Oh, the newest one? Excellent Adventures? Oh, God. That new one. Uh, yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah, it was all right. Whatever. But the they first one... They made three of them? They just they made just, one. There was one that came out. I know that, but there's a sequel? Bogus Journey was yeah. the sequel to Excellent Adventure. Is Keanu in Bogus Journey? They're both in it, dude. Yes. This guy's got a lot of franchises. That's not a franchise. I, I don't want to consider that a franchise. It's a franchise. Well, yeah, but the second one was... It's like Weekend at Bernie's 2. The first one was brilliant. The second oh, one, Weekend at Bernie's 2. The second one was... It's like Home Alone 3. It, oh, oh, Home Alone 3. Well, I don't even know Home Alone yeah. 3. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. They still tr try to make them. They just made one. Oh, it was no. horrific. No, no, no. The first you, you two, genius. That. I mean, the first two. Dude. You know what I just watched recently that what? I really liked? What? Gremlins. Oh, my gosh. They're making a new one of that. A Gremlin reboot the with the original guy. The first one. Oh, the first one's great. It had all the Spielberg touches. So good, dude. It was great. Joe so Dante. Really great. Joe Dante. It was great. It was great. Great movie. It was great. I really Love Joe Dante. It. it was great. Yep. Really, really like Gremlins 2 Small Batch. That was the sequel. No, no, no. That's not wasn't the sequel. As good. Wasn't as good. Yeah. 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 So anything Actually, else? they should have set boundaries with themselves, not making those movies. Yes. Hey, you know what? If we're going to make a sequel, we got to make a good one. That's I our know. boundary. Why is it that the sequels always just try to go bigger, better? I don't know. Because that's what you have to do with I think sequel. our sequel is going to be better. Well, it's bigger and better. I think Mistletoe Mix-Up 2 is actually going to be better than the first one. It will be bigger and better. I think so. But, but not that's by, the rare case. Not, yeah, but not by, you know, yeah. not to, we were trying like we, to go Like we were talking about earlier today. Indiana no, Jones we were and Last trying Crusade, to go bigger and better. In my opinion, yeah, Indiana maybe. Jones and the Last yeah. Crusade Much bigger. is better than Temple of Doom. Yeah, I like I the last Crusade's Crusade. my favorite one. Oh, it's my favorite. Like, Raiders is great. That's classic. Dad! Oh, my God. Oh, Junior! <laughs> Dad! Junior! Oh, Amazing. God. It's so good. Amazing. It's so good. When they both... One of the best father-son relationships in any movie. They both I've ended up having seen. relations with with Dr. Elsner Schneider. Yeah. And she whispers in his ear, and he goes... Mm. And Harrison... Dad! Yeah. <laughs> So good, dude. Oh, my great. gosh. That movie was so oh, great. That's so great. Yeah. Son, they've hit us. Remember when he takes the gun <laughs> and he shoots his own <laughs> son? <laughs> they got us. <laughs> dude, it's so good. It's so good, it is, bro. It is, oh, it is, my it is, God. It is so good. Yeah, it's so good. The, the turret gun on the back. Oh, it's my so God. Good. It was so good. It was so good. So, <sighs> so good. I mean, you guys used to bite each other. No, Matt bit me. Yeah, I was about to say, I, if there, was each one, other. there was one element of violence fun. in this family. Unfortunately, I have to say it was me. Yeah, yeah Matt knocked me out when I was yeah. like eight years old. I, 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 he punched me in the face. Yeah, I, I punched him. No, wait, hold on. He played I, possum. I was a young kid, and we were boxing, and true. I got him really good with a hook. He wasn't expecting yeah, it. That's true. And I knocked him down. He's eight years older than I am. And I'm like six, right? And he's laying down there like this. I'm like, oh, God, I killed him, Matt. Matt, he does the same thing to me. Boom! Right in my stomach. I'm like, oh! I sent him flying back. Little and I realized kid. how hard I actually hit him. <laughs> Still to this day, I feel terrible. I'm awesome. sure. Still to this. Yeah. He well, played possum. Uh, what a jerk! <laughs> what a jerk! Well, do you know? Do you know that I? Uh, I. Uh, um, I was just egging him on one day. I was like, what are you going to do? I remember you, you threw him, and then face. he hit his laundry basket, no, and then no, played. He used, to, no. he used to do that. And then played no, possum. Please. No, I died. I, Playing possum used to be one of my. He punched me in the face. <laughs> he one of the cards the I used to pull. Yeah, he bit but... my back. Oh he wow! Bit Jesus! Yeah. I bit him. I, punched him. Yeah. Like I never punched creature. him, but I did. What I did. What I would do is he would throw himself because I was much bigger because I grew mm. quicker than him, right? So and so I would take my yeah. like, Matt stop, and he would throw himself <laughs> into the wall, and he go. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh my God, did I kill you? So I would go sit on him and I would just sit on him and then he'd get angry. So I'd be like, Matt, he'd be like, mm. I was like, listen, if I get up, you're not going to hit me, right? Sure. If I get up, you're not going to, but think about that. As a big brother, I was like, you're not going to hit me, right? What I should have been saying is, I'm going to pummel you if you get up, but I didn't do that. So he would sit there and rage and I would make sure he was somewhat calmed down so that he didn't hit me when I got up. <laughs> so that's what we it's did. True. Yeah. But it's we had, true. you know, that was what we did. And for you, but it was all brotherly quarrel. Yeah, it was all brotherly love. Yeah, there was, oh, there was one time. I don't know what it was over. What what was it over? What? We cleared the living room, dude. I remember, yeah. I mean, we knocked over oh, yeah. the rancho. You were chasing me. You were chasing huge me. Huge couches. Yeah. You were chasing them me. Over. Yeah. It got intense. It was. Chasing there was I that I remember, was. yeah. It got yeah. intense. It was one of those things. He it happens. Just, he would rage and then and then I would just run, you know, cuz yeah, just it was anyway, intense. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm tired just thinking about Good it. Good day. Yeah, it's great. Good day. We'll have to drink. listen when I'm sure it's a lot of people are going to be tuning right? in. Yeah, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week. Yes, thank um, you. Yeah, we will see you here next week. 
same place. Looking forward to it. God bless. Be well. Same time. Same different time. time. Different time. Probably. Different time. I mean, I think it depends on that. It, yeah, it's up it's to you. It's whatever there. time you want. We're going to be here. Same place. It's up to you what time. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Up to you. That's and, kind of a good and, and you. Yeah. It's up to all of you. They're over there. Over there and over here. They're everywhere. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. If you want a little bonus action, join us on our Patreon. You know, you know.